Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass at Sass, and welcome to another cigar review. And today, unfortunately, we're doing a Cuban cigar again. I know, I don't like to do Cuban cigars, but this cigar is brought to you by Smoke One if you have one. Eric, he went to talk and he went to look around and he found this. So let's talk about the story. In the US, you cannot buy Embargo Parta, hence, Cuban cigar will be illegal to purchase. And I've been telling people there's no way to buy Cuban cigar unless you're outside the US. Because everything that you buy, including online, is fake. I don't care where you get it from. There's not already not enough. I can go to any shop that sells legit Cuban. They don't have enough. So there's no way they can send you boxes and boxes and boxes of Cuban online. No question. Okay? But there's one of one exceptions. If your cigar was made and sold before the embargo, you can sell that. So we found it in a U.S. shop called industrial and i guess the owner uh was a, a collector of some sort so he have some for sale but to get that your pocket have to be very very deep yes so we have here optimate cuban cigar this size is like like a cuban perfecto right and this is 250 dollars 250 dollars this thing is more than a hundred years old like I, on my hand, I'm, I'm afraid that I'm gonna crumble this. Now, granted, when we bought it, it was in this cello. And just take a look at this cello. This cello looks like you already have a colony of something in there that went through dust and uh, the, the sand of time to go through here and finally travel through time and um, you know God Himself and then now it's here. And, and I can't find a lot of information. So here's the only information that I can kind of tell you this is that the Optimus Cigar Factory was established in Syracuse, New York in 1866 by this person called Justin Subert. And it was really popular in the 19th century, early 20th century, selling top cigars like the Optimus uh, and something called Pickwick Club, La like Perfection. And they are Cuban cigars. So... I think uh, he created in 1873 and become their best seller and, uh, at 1908. All right, so they are the clear Havana blends of, uh, and crafted with the finest Cuban tobacco. So it's Cuban cigar. Okay. Um, it might be rolled in the US, I'm not, not sure, but it's still Cuban tobacco, Cuban cigar. So it's considered as pre embargoed. Cubans, all right. That's very expensive. Two hundred fifty for this. Yeah, this thing probably lasts me 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. It's gotta be very, very short. I'm afraid that. They... Let me get close on the camera so you can take a good look. That every part of it looks like it could disintegrate at any given time. Any given time, it could disintegrate. Okay. Any given time. So, I personally think any cigar older over the. 13 years, it's gotta be dry as bone and no flavor. Because over time the oil goes away and stuff like that. Like, you know, people smoke some really old pre bago cigar, it just tastes like crap. So uh, we are about to test this out and see if that's true. You know, if you can keep a hundred year old cigar tasting really, really good, then uh, we should follow that on how to store cigars because that will be correct. Now, if anything, uh, how to keep this cigar and this, how this cigar is kept, we will never know because this thing is over 100 years old. That means if you are 21 when you buy the cigar to collect this, you probably had to change hands twice because 50 years, you're 70 something years old. You're almost there, one foot in the grave, right? And, and you know, the other half of that, you'll be 121 years old. You had to change hand, right? So this thing probably changed hand twice already. So I don't know how they kept this. Pristine, good, I guess. So, there's nothing to talk about the band. The box is 
look, you can look at it online. I mean, I don't find a lot. I haven't found a lot of information. I can tell one thing for sure, though. The orig original Optimate from the picture in the 1920s looks a lot darker than this. It almost looked like a Maduro. But this thing is super bright right now. So could this be fake? I don't know. Anyways, let's uh, let's cut in light. In terms of, of smell. Now, let me give a disclaimer, okay? For this, for this cigar, I did not eat anything for the day. Right now, it's 10 p.m. I haven't ate since yesterday, 8 p.m. Okay? Did not eat anything to tan my palate. I have not drank anything yet other than water. Uh, and I am going to tackle this. And if I get sick and I just stop, you know why. Okay? So I have not done anything yet. I am going for this 100%. Don't blame me for anything. There's should be no question. There's like Tony this and that. No, nothing. I didn't eat anything. I didn't drink anything. All right, let's go. It does not have any smell. No smell whatsoever. Let's cut. Oh, I'm not kidding at all. This dry draw. <clears throat> if you haven't been into a wooden house for a long, long time, and you just left the wooden house as is for a long, long time with the doors all closed and everything, and then one day you opened it, it has this musty, damp, old wood smell. That's how the dry draw tastes like. It's. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It tastes like old, fermented, rotting wood. Like it reminds me of like my grand grandparents' drawer with closing it. Yep, and a little bit of like a hint of tobacco or something. Ooh. All right, let's, uh, you, you can't complain, right? No overburning this. Slowly get it to lead. I don't know. I'm not looking for after that dry draw. This, this thing better like transform. Oh, what? Very Cuban character characteristic. Ugh. Cuban characteristic cardboard box with a little bit of corn and saltiness. Some sort of salty grain. Something that burns my nose a little bit too. Might be pepper. It might be a little bit spice to it. It has this a little bit of rotten taste at the end of it. But the the starting flavor is actually not bad. It's it's is woodsy, is grainy, it's like hay or some sort of wood tone. A little bit of saltiness. That's actually quite nice. But it ends with this like bitter, odd, almost rotting taste. So yeah, let me finish one third, like that much, like 10 minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back one third. So 
I can honestly tell you, if somebody was trading me a new cigar, new Cuban cigar right now, I'll smoke the new one. All right, because it still tastes like Cuban, but very mellow, super duper mellow. So mellow, it make it like you're like, what the hell? Maybe there's only one leaf, and then the rest is not Cuban. It's just filler because there is a lot of blind spot. There's a lot of blind, like no steam, just nothing. And then you taste a little bit of that Cuban taste and a little bit of pepper. A little bit of that pepper. There is a Cuban reminiscing thing going on. You can taste the Cuban um, mostly on the retro hill. Uh, it doesn't have that fresh, pungent taste. It's more mellow, elegant taste. But for $250, you're like, why? And it, it's like, like the like when I first started, it has that really weird, unpleasant, rotting taste at the end. It's very end. It kind of died down a little bit, but still there. I just. It's a nice like, you know, combination of this Cuban taste and like, you know, like, hay. Uh, you know, um, grains, um, woodsiness to it. Like you can tell this is a Cuban, but it's faded. It's so faded, it's so faded away, faded. Like, you know, it's like, yeah, age will kill it. But at the same time, age has filled it with history, right? But, you know, but then again, if I'm just smoking a cigar for the flavor, I'd rather smoke a new one. If you hand me an H. Upman right now, I'll trade it. <laughs> it's just saying. So let me go to the second, third, see if he gets better. Maybe he does. Be right back. All right, second, third. Not even kidding. That's like, I'm just go back to chat with the boys. And I, you know, next thing you know, second, third. So this thing, more and more, the more I puff on it, the more it tastes like an old cabinet. Yeah. So <clears throat> it tastes like old Cuban cigar in an old cabinet. Like it really, the flavor is not that significant to even be excited about. It does have some pepper though. That pepper did get stronger as it, as I go on, but it's, it's, it just tastes old. It doesn't taste, it doesn't taste good. It just tastes old. I don't know what to tell you. It just tastes old. The pepper is stronger than any other taste, but when when it goes, when you retro hill, it comes up. The more you smoke it, the more old it tastes. The more like old cabinet that you taste, like old paper, old pep. Like I don't know. Like I can I can imagine open someone's cabinet and like this thing's old, and it's like you see your 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 ancestors closing in there. It's like oh shit, he left it in there, huh? Like that kind of like situation right now. It's like I can't even give you a happy, excited face because it did not taste very good. Like I think I just lost five pounds smoking this. Or maybe I did. So last a little bit. I'll finish it up. I'll show you guys the band and we'll call it a day. And maybe I need another cigar to cover this up because oh be right back. Okay, so. I don't want to be disrespectful to people who are saving their pre-embargo cigars. But think this thing tastes like crap. Uh, it right now at Laster, it tastes like it tastes like a Cuban cigar that kind of re has some flavor of Cuban with cigarettes. It's floral and paper. And I, I don't want to insult them or anything. That's just how I taste it. Um, I long time ago I used to be a strong, uh, like a very heavy cigarette smoker. So when I smell cigarette, I smell it right away. And when I was smoking this, all of a sudden I smelled it. I was like, shit, that tastes like cigarette. But it still tastes like Cuban at the same time, with pepper. But is it worth two hundred fifty dollar? Or maybe one time if you just want to do the history part of it. But you probably would never want to smoke this again. Uh, apparently they told Eric that tastes like no other. I agree with that. But not 
not necessarily in a negative way, but not a positive way because it does taste a weird combination of. It, it gives you the age. You can taste age. Like you can taste like, and you, you just smoke it, and you it like right away you see your ancestors' cabinet wardrobe. Yeah, that's that's how it tastes like. It's like no other. I haven't really tasted that that old of taste for a long time. I guess. Other than the time when I go clean up uh, my grandparents' uh, cabinet after they pass away, that's how it smells like. And one of the other things that I'm very impressed with is a hundred-year-old cigar paper still have color, have color, still intact. The glue is strong as hell because I cannot separate it. Because if I gotta separate it, it will probably fall apart. So here's the bin. Come on, take it. It's still, you know, the ink is still on there. The ink is still on there. But you can tell it's a very basic design from back in the day. You can say that this is like falling apart now. Uh, basic design. Nothing too special, I guess. But it's part of history. I will keep it. Internal cigar. If you want to try some history, Contact Industrial, they have a they have another three hundred dollars to go out there too, uh, pre embargoed. But I can also understand why they didn't smoke it. Not try to say anything, but I would not buy one of these. It's very muted Cuban taste with pepper, a lot of pepper, and at times it tastes like a rotten wood, old wood. At times, it tastes like cigarette. At times, it tastes kind of pleasant, like a, a muted Cuban cigar. It's a very tiny perfecto. They call this perfecto. Um, it's very, very tiny. But as you can see in my face, I wasn't. I'm appreciated, but at the same time, I don't want to insult them at the same time because it wasn't that good. It wasn't like. Ooh, this is things great. I I can't believe I taste this. This, you know, it's like all right, it's history, but it's kind of in a way I'm suffering. Like I don't like that end note. And maybe some people won't taste it. Maybe if you have a like a soda or something that that might cover that up. But I'm giving this the the purest possible. Uh, review, right? I have not eaten anything for 26 plus hours. I have not drink anything other than water for 26 plus hours. And that's what it tastes like to me. So. Yeah. And yeah, the pepper is enough to burn your nose a little bit. But yeah, I would not say this is a very pleasing experience. At the same time, I'm honored to try a part of the history, I guess. So now I can say I've tried something uh, that old. I had a pre-embargoed Camacho before, and it was the experience was similar. It wasn't that impressive. So this is why I never go out and try to find pre-embargoed cigars because uh, after a certain time, the essence, the best part of it, fades away. The soul of the cigar fades away. You still gotta taste it, something, but it's gonna taste muted. It's gonna taste not as fresh. You gotta know over time. The flavor just goes away because the oil starts to dry up, right? Oil starts to dry up. Now it mellows some taste, it mellows some strength as it goes because that's what people are aging it for, right? Now you can tell the difference between different flavor a lot easier because they all mellow out. They don't fight each other anymore, right? So aging cigar does has its benefit of making the cigar more distinct, more transition, more flavor in terms of separation, but. When you go over a certain amount of time, like 13, 15 years, that oil starts to dry up and it leaves. It leaves the flavor. Like, you know, so what you're tasting is just a solid, dry leaf that has some moisture in it. So you can only taste what's left over. Right? And although that might be something cool and might be something, some magic to, uh, this particular hobby is not something that is pleasing or enjoyable, in my opinion. So that tells you 
Don't save your cigar for too long. You can save it for the next generation. They aren't gonna enjoy it as much as you would. So, don't keep your cigar that long. Smoke it if you have. That's it for the cigar review. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I guess this is gonna be the first one on YouTube. So yay! Um, make sure to like, subscribe, share, um, comment BS in the comment if you want to. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Ooh. <laughs>